Hello to all. In this video, we will proceed with the third subtopic 9.3 part A on how to find the derivative of exponential functions. So, basically we have few rules on how to differentiate exponential function. So, Basically, we have few rules on how to differentiate exponential function. Let's go through with it one by one. So, with our first one, whenever we have y equal to a to the power of x, and in this case, our a is basically a constant, our rule is we have three main steps. First step, you just have to copy back the function. So, we're going to have a to the power of x. Second rule, you just have to differentiate your power. So, in this case, derivative of x, you're going to get 1. And then, our third step is ln our base. So, in this case, we're going to get ln of a. Alright, moving on. Second one, if our function is y equal to a to the power of mx plus c, where a, m, and c in this case are constant. So, following the same rule, first step, you just have to copy everything back. So, we will have a to the power of mx plus c. Second step, differentiate your power. So, in this case, derivative of mx plus c, we will get m. And then last part, don't forget to ln your base. So in this case, ln a. Let's say, proceed next one, we have a to the power of fx. So we will follow the same rule. So we will have dy dx equal to a to the power of fx times with f prime of x and then ln a. That is whenever we have a as our base. In this case, a is any constant. So, the same rule we follow if we have exponent as our base. So, let's say first one, we have y equal to e to the power of x. dy dx will follow the same rule. So, we have just have to copy it back. So, e to the power of x. Derivative of x will be 1. And don't forget to ln our base. In this case, ln e. We can simplify this as we know ln of e would be equal to 1. So, in this case, derivative of exponent to the power of x is still exponent to the power of x. Next one, if we have e to the power of mx plus c, derivative of it will be e to the power of mx plus c. Next step, differentiate your power so you will have m and don't forget to ln your base in this case ln e once again ln e can be simplified so you will have m e to the power of mx plus c okay and then last one if we have exponent to the power of fx the derivative of it will be e to the power of fx times with f prime of x ln e and once again ln e can be cancelled out so your final answer will be f prime of x times with e to the power of fx so these are the basic rule on how to differentiate exponential function next let's do some exercises to check our understanding so, we proceed with example 8. Find the derivative for each of the following function. Part A, we have y equal to 4 to the power of x. So, the derivative of this one would be equal to our dy dx is equal to, copy back our original function, so 4 to the power of x. Next step, differentiate your power, so 1, and then don't forget to ln your base so ln 4 in this case we cannot simplify anything so your final answer will be 4 to the power of x ln 4 next part part b we have y equal to 1 over 3 to the power of 1 minus 6x so our dy dx in this case would be equal to 1 over 3 to the power of 1 minus 6x Copy back. So, second step, differentiate your power. In this case, we're going to get negative 
6 and don't forget to loan your base. So in this case, loan 1 over 3. And then last step, just rewrite back your final answer in a proper form. So we will get negative 6 ln of 1 over 3 times with 1 over 3 to the power of 1 minus 6x. Moving on, part C, we have y equal to 5 to the power of x minus 1 plus 3 to the power of 2 minus 3x. Even though we have an addition in the middle, you just have to follow the same rule. So in this case, our dy dx will be equal to 5 to the power of x minus 1 times with 1 ln 5 plus with 3 to the power of 2 minus 3x times with negative 3 ln 3. And our final answer in this case is 5 to the power of x minus 1 ln 5 minus 3 to the power of 2 minus 3x times with 3 ln 3. Okay, proceed with the next one. We have 3 to the power of 2x minus 13 to the power of 4. So, Following our rule, so our dy dx will be equal to, first step, copy everything back. So we will have 3 to the power of 2x minus 13 to the power of 4. Second step, we have to differentiate our power. Bear in mind now, for our power, we have another power there. So we have to use the power rule. So in previous video, we already learned about this. So in order to differentiate our power now, so bring your power to the front for and then copy everything inside the bracket to x minus 13. All power will be minus 1, so to the power of cube. And then don't forget to differentiate what's inside the bracket. So you're going to get 2. And then last step, step number 3, ln our base. So in this case, we will get ln 3. And then final step, just rewrite back your final answer. So here we're going to get 8 ln 3 times with 2x minus 13 cubed times with 3 to the power of 2x minus 13 to the power of 4. Okay, now proceed with example 6. Find the derivative for each of the following. For now, we will have exponent as our base. But don't worry, we just have to follow the same rule. So part A, we have exponent to the power of 6x. So here, our dy dx will be equal to e to the power of 6x. Differentiate 6x, you're going to get 6 and don't forget to ln your base. So in this case, ln of e. Ln of e can be cancelled out. So your final answer here would be 6 times with exponent to the power of 6x. Normally for final answer, we will put constant at the front. Proceed with question B. We have y equal to exponent to the power of 9x minus 2 minus with exponent to the power of negative x. So, the derivative of it, our dy dx will be equal to exponent to the power of 9x minus 2. Now, differentiate our power, you will get 9 and then ln our base, ln e. Automatically, ln e can be cancelled out. Now, for our second function, so minus exponent to the power of negative x, differentiate your power, you're going to get negative 1 ln e and cancel out that. So, our final answer here will be 9 exponent to the power of 9x minus 2 plus exponent to the power of negative x. Proceed to part C, we have exponent to the power of 1 minus 2x cubed minus x to the power of 5. Don't worry, you just have a complicated power for this part, but we still follow the same rule. 
So our dy dx here would be equal to copy everything back. So we will have exponent to the power of 1 minus 2x cubed minus x over 5. Next step. For the second part, differentiate your power so we will get negative 6x squared minus 1 over 5. And last part, ln our base. So here our final answer would be negative 6x squared minus 1 over 5 times with exponent to the power of 1 minus 2x cubed minus x over 5. Last one, part D, we have y equal to exponent to the power of x minus 3x cubed to the power of 4. So, same as before for this part, in order to differentiate our power, we have to use power rule. So, dy dx will be equal to exponent to the power of x minus 3x cubed to the power of 4. Just copy it back. Differentiate our power using power rule. So we have 4 times with x minus 3x cubed to the power of 3 because all power minus 1. Don't forget differentiate back what's inside the bracket. So we will have 1 minus 9x squared and then ln base. Cancel out our ln base. So our final answer here would be 4 times with 1 minus 9x squared times with x minus 3x cubed. The whole thing also cubed times with exponent to the power of x minus 3x cubed to the power of 4.